Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Tuesday and welcome to the sunniest spring day there ever was. I am currently being blinded by the light. Um, it's really too bad, but we're going to work around it because I have a little homeworks haul to share with you guys. Um, I uh, placed a couple of orders on QVC when there was a free shipping weekend. It, the Rakuten was decent. Um, I also placed some orders on the homeworks.shop website the last time that they had a really good sale. I do live in Oregon. I say this all the time. It takes me like three times as long as everybody else <laughs> to get their homeworks orders. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a giant pain in the butt. Um, however, um, it's FedEx and you know, they, they work with donkeys, I think, instead of like, engines in their vehicles so i'm pretty sure there's a donkey that pulls my fedex truck <laughs> but it's fine everything has arrived everything is in one piece per usual great packaging from homeworks um i also have four candles here from scentworks that were sent from uh homeworks and scentworks as pr um but everything else i purchased myself so i'm gonna start with the candles that they sent there's only four and they're all scentworks Scentworks can be found a um, couple of different places. You can find it on the homeworks.shop. You can also find it at Kohl's. Um, most Kohl's, I believe, have the Scentworks candles in stock. So it's kind of neat because um, you can actually go in store and smell pretty much all of what they have available. I'm not a very frequent Kohl's shopper, uh, but it is kind of fun to go in there every now and then and just kind of sniff the candles out. I have not smelled any of the new spring ones, so I was actually excited that Homeworks sent these. Um, I have said before in the past that the Scentworks candles for me really are not strong enough to be standalone candles in my house. We have a very open concept home, and it really takes a lot of oomph from a candle to be able to um, really fragrance uh, a lot of the areas of our house. The Scentworks do great in our bathrooms. Um, they also do pretty decent in the bedrooms, but those are more like enclosed average size rooms and they're upstairs and our ceilings are not as tall in the upstairs of our house as they are in the downstairs. So, um, hey Alf, what are you doing? I always get nervous, you know, when he sniffs the carpet really intently. <laughs> It's like, are you getting ready to pick a spot to go pee pee? He's actually doing quite well potty training wise. And now that it's spring, we just leave the back door open and he goes potty whenever he wants. He's such a good boy. Oh, I wish you guys could see him, but he's kind of blending in with my shirt. He is here. Can you see him? His little head? No, sorry. It's, I'm once again wearing his color. So, okay, um, let's start with these four candles here. So again, I did not pay for these, the rest I did. So if that matters to you, maybe I'll put a timestamp to fast forward. I don't know, people people are very sensitive. So I'll try and make it work for you. Boardwalk Cone. Um, I've only quickly sniffed these. I wanted to kind of save like my, my first impressions for the camera. And this is really nice. <laughs> This is the one I probably had my nose stuck in the most. This is delicious. This is, this almost smells like a very classic old timey like waffle cone, like the thicker waffle cones. That is the, the cone that I smell in here. And then there's like a creamy vanilla. So their notes here say waffle cone, vanilla bean ice cream, chocolate spray, chocolate sprinkles no and candied marshmallow i feel like marshmallow is candy can you candy marshmallow <laughs> this is really good this is mostly like a rich vanilla bean ice cream with a um with a really nice old-fashioned like waffle cone note this is delightful although i this wick placement concerns me a little bit i feel like it's probably going to be fine but these wicks are a tiny bit off. When you go shopping in store at Kohl's, make sure that you always, you should do this, even if you're shopping at like Bath and Body Works, always check that and make sure that the wicks are centered. Sometimes they can just be a little bit off. And this one I think might be okay. This is also a much thicker glass than what Bath and Body Works has. I'm a little bit more leery when their wicks are like off center than I am with the Scentworks, but 
this is oh, this is amazing i actually really want to get to burning that one so we're going to put that one in the to burn pile real fast next is tropical hibiscus this is really nice too this is really fresh i'm surprised he didn't choose this scent to put into the homeworks line this smells like a very classic homeworks type scent it's like an aquatic beachy floral type fragrance so here we have tropical hibiscus gardenia yeah gardenia ylang ylang and island vanilla yeah that gardenia in here is gorgeous um i really like that these are actually quite good i feel like a lot of the scents from scentworks in the past have been a lot more basic a little bit more simple these smell more complex i think he might be i think harry might be putting a little bit more thought into the scentworks in terms of the blends oh that smells that this has pina colada vibes what are the i oh the island culata <laughs> pineapple yep coconut milk yep juicy mango and vanilla yeah it's like a pina colada it is good i do i do smell that mango this is creamy though it's like it's like a very creamy pina colada without like the rum note i actually like this this is pineapple you guys know how I feel about pineapple. I typically despise pineapple. But I think what I need is a pineapple mixed with a vanilla. Do you guys remember the, um, what was it? The pi pineapple mousse? Was it pineapple mousse? Came with the berry trifle. The very first year Homeworks was out in 2018, right? Uh, I think it was pineapple mousse. It smelled like the pineapple Dole Whip from, um, what do you call that place? Disneyland. I've never had it. I've never been to Disneyland. I'm, I'm really putting that off because I can't do rides. I get really bad motion sickness. So we haven't taken Stella yet, but I know we need to take her because it's like this thing that you do with your kids. You take them to Disneyland, right? And um, so far she has not wanted to travel there, which I've been kind of thankful for. Stella hates planes and she hates being in a car. So flying or driving would be a total nightmare. She just has no patience for it. So We've been able to put off Disneyland for a little while, but I think within the next year or two, she's definitely gonna wanna go. And one of the things on my list to try right away is a pineapple Dole Whip, which I think you can only get at Disneyland, right? Or is that at Disney World? I don't know. Anyway, it's some kind of Disney place where there are princesses. <laughs> oh, this is another pineapple one that's really good. Okay, why is Harry saving all the good pineapples? <laughs> For um, scent works, I on I am not a pineapple person. I think it smells really artificial in home fragrance. But these two pineapples here are wonderful. This is like this is pineapple sort of in the background to give you like the sweetness and that tang. It doesn't have that artificial like candied pineapple note that you find in a lot. So this is pink pineapple. <gasps> Have you guys had pink pineapple? I had one a couple weeks ago. I love pink pineapple so much more than regular pineapple though. They're both delicious to eat, but there's something about that pink pineapple. It is yummy. Mango, coconut, and white rum. It's not boozy, you guys. It's funny because these kind of, the island culata and no, this is much more like fruity tropical drink sans rum note. This is much more creamy, fruity. This is definitely creamier. The Island Culotta. It's that coconut milk in there for sure. This goes with this. All right, you guys, those are the candles that were sent as PR. Big thanks to Homeworks for sending these out, Homeworks and Scentworks, because I don't think that I would have picked them up, but these are delicious, and I actually cannot wait to start burning these. All right, let's talk some QVC candles. I picked up... Um, I had to have these. Finally, there was a free ship, and then uh, I don't remember what the raccoon was, but um, raspberry shortbread, raspberry jam, warm shortbread, old fashioned lemonade, and vanilla bean. First off, these jars, uh, I love Harry's specialty glass. And this is like a, it kind of looks like it's maybe meant to be bamboo or something like that. I just really love the texture. These jars are gorgeous, as is this fragrance. Yum, this is delicious. But it's not anything crazy exotic. It's just a really nice fruity gourmand. 
there's definitely a lot of creaminess to this one. Um, that shortbread that's in here is delicious. I do love the raspberry. There's definitely a little bit of like a, like a sweet lemon. It's not cleaner or astringent lemon at all. And there's a good amount of vanilla in here. Oh, these are beautiful. I, and these came in a duo. I only got one set. Um, and then I also, I couldn't resist this one either. So this is the wild berry vanilla bean. So this has wild berries, vanilla bean, starberry, which I've never had, and smoked sugar. I would never think to smoke sugar. This is nice though. I don't know which one I actually like better out of the two. This smells creamier to me than maybe the first one. The, fir the first one really does have more of like that shortbread note. I feel like these wicks go up my These are these really long wicks. <laughs> They're kind of bent over. Um, oh, this is so nice. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of in love with these. Mm -hmm. Wild berries, vanilla bean, yeah. It's like a creamy vanilla, not frosting, but like just a creamy whipped vanilla bean, um, what do you call that? Whipped cream, yeah, whipped cream, there we go. But with vanilla bean in it. I really love that, that is, I'm excited to burn those two. And the colors of the jars, let me just show you these two next to each other. So there's, this is like a deeper pink, um, this one is a little bit of like a brighter, like fuchsia pink. They're just stunning. I love the jars. I love the fragrances. Now, I don't know if these are ones that I should let sit for a little while. When were these made? Fall 21. So these were poured last year. By the way, you can tell when your candles were poured by looking at this number. You see that number right there? So the, it starts with a letter, which is F, that stands for fall, and then 21 is the year, 2021. So, um, yeah. These were born, these were, these candles were born. <laughs> these candles were poured on 11, 15, 21. I feel like they, sh well, I don't know. Sometimes with homeworks lately, you gotta, you gotta have like a system in place. <laughs> but usually I have found with most of my homeworks, if I let them sit for a little while, if the first one is lighter, if I give the, the other one a couple more months, it like is usually vastly improved. Okay, vanilla coconut sorbet. Had to pick up this one. Um, I believe I've actually had this one before. There was a duo from HSN that came with a coconut sorbet and then I think it was like a banana, a banana something. Um, bananas foster maybe does that sound right this smells really good though this has the type of like it's it smells a lot like Hawaiian tropic suntan lotion but with more of like that real like coconut but not even real it's like what you think real coconut should taste like like that type of flavoring <laughs> but real coconut is like a thousand times better obviously it has that real like nice sweetness to it but not overly cloying it smells kind of like suntan lotion but not quite I do think this smells edible I feel like this smells more edible than the first version did I believe that one had a little bit of muskiness to it I don't really get much of the musk on cold sniff on this one and our notes here are chilled vanilla shaved coconut tropical water fruits and island sugar cane yeah i don't know i really i really like this one i think i like it better if it's the same scent i there was i'm gonna have to look back through my videos sorry wish i could be more concise for you but i cannot it's, that's not why you come here <laughs> for conciseness um okay Congrats. Um, now for a while, the descriptions were kind of mixed up on the web website between the congrats and I think it's called cheer. I have the cheer one in here as well. Um, I really like both of these, but these are lighter. This one here is lighter than the other candles I've smelled so far. This is also kind of perfumey. I do really like this though. This is perfumey sweetness. 
what is what are the notes in here cotton can yeah cotton candy uh sugar plum confetti raspberry s raspberry sparkle what is raspberry sparkle raspberry maybe um and velvet cream yeah i do get like a like a plum note in here there's there's definitely cotton candy cotton candy is the first thing that will hit you in the face um raspberry there's definitely a raspberry and there is a slight creaminess but there's also a perfuminess i would wear this in like body care in a heartbeat that's delightful okay let's do more oh okay I feel like this is gonna be a regret. Now, I've only quickly smelled these because these actually came on Friday right before Craig and I left for the beach, and so I was like, ah, kind of ripping through them just to be able to smell them. And, <sighs> yes. Oh, you delicious blueberry cheesecake. Of course, it's delicious. It's, it's blueberry. Did he put the cease in here? No. Wild Maine blueberries, cheesecake accord, blackberry jam, and brown sugar crust. There is definitely a brown sugar crust in here. That is brown sugar for sure. It's so interesting how sometimes certain with certain gourmand scents from Hallmarks, like you can very distinctly pick up whether they used brown sugar or more of like just a generic sugary sweetness or whether they used honey. This is brown sugar crust. I, this smells really authentic, you guys. This is delicious, and of course it sold out. I did pick up two of that one. I try not to do that with Hallmarks anymore. I try to just buy like either one duo or like one of the candles to be able to review, and then if I want more, I can go back, but that one, I just, I knew, I knew it. And Harry doesn't really come out with blueberry stuff very often. So anyway, and I, I don't know which one of these are still available on the Hallmarks website. I will, of course, put uh, the links in the description box down below. Um, I don't know if there's a candle sale going on right now, but I always have my 10% discount code with them, so you can use that. Um, okay, here's that Cheers candle. So this is the other one that had similar packaging, just different color. And our notes here are... Peach puree, apricot nectar, sparkling prosecco, and pink sugar. I thought this would be something similar to, what is it? Is it champagne pop from um, Bath and Body Works or cranberry peach bellini or something like that? What's the one I'm thinking of? You guys know. This does have like some like boozy, slightly boozy vibes to it, but it's not, it doesn't smell like a bottle of prosecco or anything. But there's an effervescence to this one for sure. It's sweet. It's a little bit lighter. It makes me a little nervous about whether it's going to be a powerhouse or not. The, the spring candles this year so far have been on the slightly lighter end um, of the medium strength spectrum. Um, usually homeworks for me in the past has been like medium strong, but we're more of like a medium light with, with these candles as of late. So I'm not sure what changed, but, um, it is definitely, uh, I can tell the difference for sure. So, but I haven't, like, I haven't had candles that like have been complete duds except for the pink lemon shortbread that one definitely I could barely barely smell it but the rest of them I've still been able to smell so and again we have crazy high ceilings here so okay what's this oh yes strawberry milkshake I was really excited about this too I love Harry's strawberries I like this. You know what? This reminds me of the strawberry lip smackers. This isn't crazy authentic smelling, but I like it because it takes me back to my lip smacker days. It smells exactly like a strawberry lip smacker. I love it. Maybe slightly creamier, which would make sense with that milkshake note. So pink strawberries, whipped raspberry sor sorbet, marshmallow fluff, and whipped cream. No, not really marshmallow fluff. A, a general creaminess. Raspberry sorbet. 
No, I get mostly strawberry. I get lip smacker. And then what's this last one? Oh yeah, yeah. I had to get the strawberry cupcake too. <laughs> okay, let's smell this one. I love strawberry scents. we have a winner oh I prefer this it's also a creamy strawberry would you need both I mean maybe I don't know you would be a, you would know if you were that type of person like I need both <laughs> I know I'm that type of person but I feel like if I were to like recommend one over the other I would say get the strawberry glazed cupcake Ooh, that cupcake in here is heavenly but it's that same kind of creamy strawberry but definitely more of like a cake note in this. Whereas the other one had like just creamy strawberry and strawberry lip smacker. Oh, what are the notes in here? Sweet strawberries, vanilla cupcake, coconut cream, and whipped buttercream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, you guys, do you see the picture on here? Okay, that's what you're smelling. You, you just are smelling that. I wanna eat those cupcakes, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I've not had lunch yet and I'm hungry. Okay, I, I, big fan. I am a big fan of everything that I got here. I think the only one that I might be even remotely like just more or slightly less excited about, none of them, I like them all. Maybe the vanilla coconut sorbet, but even that, you can't have it. I want it. I want to burn it. It smells delicious. Cheers. I'm a li I, I hope that these are stronger burning than they are on cold sniff. That's what I will say about these. But as far as the scents go, I like them. I like them a lot. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, I got, I got more burning to do, guys. So obviously, per usual, I will get to burning. I will be uploading reviews ASAP. Some of these have already sold out. I still do the reviews because here's what's been happening. Some things have been popping up on homeworks.shop first, such as the Sunday morning cereal, the peanut butter waffle, which just smells like a can of peanuts. Um, some of the other scents as well. And then they show up at QVC, um, which is good. Uh, and then sometimes things have been showing up at QVC first and then showing up as singles on homeworks. So. There seems to be some more cross-pollination happening, which I'm a big fan of. You guys know how I feel about QVC. I would much rather just order directly from Harry. Shipping rates tend to be better. Takes a little longer, but it's much, it's, I'm paying a lot less for shipping, so I'm not gonna like complain too hard about that. Um, I do eventually get my candles. Uh, yeah. I don't know. There, nothing else needs to be said, you guys. Uh, I just really would prefer to <laughs> purchase from the Homeworks website. So I will still do the reviews um, because it could be that the maybe, gosh, I'm, my fingers are crossed for you guys because that blueberry, blueberry cheesecake, everyone needs to experience that. Um, so I hope that that one is still yet to come on QVC, fingers crossed. So I'll get to doing these reviews. I am someone who likes to burn the candle to at least the halfway point. Um, to me, those are the most helpful kinds of reviews because I think it's a much more accurate representation of what you're going to get from the bulk of the candle if you burn it to at least the halfway point. Typically, if it does good the first half, with the exception of most Bath & Body Works candles, but typically with most candles, if it burns good to the halfway point, then you're probably good for the remainder of the life of the candle. So, but anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I'm going to um, upload this video have some lunch and um fill out a description box that's those are my plans <laughs> all right you guys i hope you have a great rest of your day let me know what you picked up and what your thoughts are so far on any of your homeworks hauls that you have received in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new i'll see you in the next one take care Toodaloo.